guys, today I'm basically going to show you how I pack my Yorkies bags for a road trip. This is Lola and this is Leo. They look kind of dirty now because they were rolling mm -mm, They were rolling in the sand. And like I told you guys, I used to be allergic to dogs. No, not used to. I am allergic to dogs. But with Yorkies, I'm actually not allergic. Like I used to like show like have hives and all this stuff like swollen. I used to get swollen. I used to have this pimples. So I just pop up to nowhere. But with them, I actually don't. You, this is something you would never see me do. I would never hold a dog. Just for the simple fact that I would normally shoot out in hives and stuff. So this is kind of cool. I love the fact that I can have dogs. But I'm going to put my Instagram on the side. You guys can follow me to keep up to date with Lola. And then you can follow my sister if you want to keep up to date with Leo. Check my link there as well to see all my other social media platforms. Without further ado, let's get straight into this. The glamour of course. Video! Mwah! Okay. For the pink bag, I'm basically just gonna pack in the clothes. We got Lola this cute pink um, outfit. It looks like this. So just to excuse how I look also because I just woke up. I had to wake up super early to pack their stuff. Okay, and then we also got them this cute outfit. They have matching outfits. Um, it's actually, I don't wanna say it's for boy dogs or girl dogs, but we just got her the red one because red looks really cute in it. And then we got him the blue one. So I'm packing the two outfits in as well. And sorry if you hear a really loud bell, because that's Lola. She needs a loud bell, because she will literally run upstairs, eh? And then she won't even bark to say, like, like, she normally barks on the, like, when I put her on the bed, she tells me, like, she tells me if she wants to get off. But when she runs on the stairs, she doesn't tell me, like, bark or anything. She just stays quiet and we're shouting, Lola, Lola, and she doesn't say anything. So this is the other outfit. It doesn't fit him, it only goes to his back. So... Yeah, that's just our outfit. We're gonna have to make do with what we have. So basically, I'm putting all the clothes in this bag over here. Um, this might not fit in, but I'm just gonna do it the old way. Put the handles over it. So, there we go. First bag is packed. So in this bag, I'm basically gonna put like all the toys, treats, the harnesses, and everything. They are actually potty trained. So what I do is I take this pee pad, from this game I got it from baby city for some reason whenever you put like dog pee pads or something then they tend to make things so expensive like literally a packet I think a box of 100 cost around 800 rand so I was like okay I'm gonna go to baby city and find if they have and it's literally the same size and it's cheaper it's like 65 I think it's like 65 rand just for 20 and that's like worth it. The 6, 12, 18, 24, I can get 4 packets of this, 60 actually for like 250 I think, if my math isn't wrong. Yeah, I don't know. Um, okay, so basically I'm putting pee pads in, they are potty trained, I'm so happy for that. So they don't pee everywhere. Um, that is going in this bag. And then we use this house training spray i know i showed you in the beginning the house training spray so basically what this is you spray it on the pee pad and then they pee on there but i never had to use it ever since they were puppies they are currently six months now so i don't have to use this anymore because they know to just go there wherever the pee pad is first we had them on bob martin and then we put them on the royal canine but it's so expensive it's like 2.95 for 1.5 kg and they finished this in a week so we spent like 300 rand every week that's like 3, 6, 9, 12. 1,200 then in one month. No ways. So we're currently swapping them over from this dog food to... Lola, that's so unnecessary. Oh! I'm never letting this dog lick me again. He just licked me. To this bag. Okay? So we're swapping them from the Royal Canin to the Can Canin Cuisine. So then we also got him these three tasty minis. We got them these just to keep them like busy and like maybe so that they don't get bored as well. Um, the place the place is pet friendly, so we're gonna take them on walks, and that leads me to my next thing I'm gonna pack in, which is the harness and leash. So Lola is more controllable, and I don't believe in only having a collar because yeah, it just seems really dangerous. Because she will have like the zoomies, and I don't want her to like hurt her neck or break her neck. What's wrong, boy? He thinks we're going on a walk. What else? Okay, I'm gonna show you the toy. Two toys. The one is Toby, 
and the other one is Meemaw. Toby's dead. However, Meemaw is not very far from where Toby is. You want it? You want it? Let's go. Go! Oh, they love that toy. Look at this. Also, and then we got in this tea food bowl and the water bowl. Okay, cool. So everything is packed now. So that's basically all that I'm packing in. And then I just forgot two more things. This is the ear wipes. I'm going to use this as well. And then I also have like this portable water bottle. I'm not sure where it is right now. But I'll just um, put a picture on the side to show you guys what it looks like. That I'm taking with as well. Can you please keep quiet? I have to talk fast before they come. Okay, so that's basically all that I'm packing in. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!